This video will be about making your own measurements. I highly recommend people put up a Snellen mark in big letters the line so you can read them at 20 feet because you don't get a good idea until you've looked at that Snellen for several weeks. Fixed lighting, everything. Because the eye does change a lot and no OD in his office can ever duplicate the average changes an eye goes through on a weekly basis. So only you could really make an accurate refractive measurement or visual acuity, actually. So, but the question always becomes is, well, I know my visual acuity, but I have no idea what my refraction is. How do I do that at low cost? I believe in making measurements as an engineer. I think that if you don't have any confidence at all, you've got to do it. In the past, and I've shown how to do it, you can use a trial lens to accomplish that goal, but that does require manipulation. It does require holding up lenses and seeing what it takes to just clear the 2020 line. And most people just aren't adept to it or they don't want to go to that trouble. I don't know whether I can show this properly, but you can get an adjustable self-adjusting lens. That's quite good. The cost is around $20. So you can see that. And with a little practice, the results can be impressive. Uh, what they have is lenses which you, you set to your Snellen and adjust it so you can just see the 2020 line. Let's say you had 2050 or 2060. What you do is you turn these side knobs, and what happens is it adjusts like a, you would a telescope. You turn it, and for instance, you find the point where you just clear the 2020 line. Uh, if you need bifocals, you can look in here, turn it about a quarter turn in the clockwise direction, and it will clear at 50 centimeters or half meter. Uh, thus, you could use these as bifocal, just turn these a quarter turn, and you'll be adjusted for near. Turn in the opposite direction, and you'll get your Snellen back. So how do you make that out? Well, let's say you're reading 20, 2060. You put up your Snellen, you turn it clockwise, and it clears the 2020 line. This does several things for you. You can estimate your refraction by doing that. If these knobs you turn were calibrated more accurately, you get a very accurate measurement of your refractive state. Uh, again, repeated measurements are far better than one single measurement made once every two years in an office. Better that you do it. It would be nice if they built a special adjustable lens where the, the size was much bigger and you could read your refraction directly by doing that. At $20, though, you can't not expect a lot. What I take away from this is one element that's very important. A refractive is not an error. A refraction is not an error. A refraction doesn't require a correction. It's not medical. But there could be a reason why you can't read the 2020 line. You can't tell that directly. I recommend going to somebody medical. But if you use these glasses, let's say you're reading 2060, and you put the glasses on and you adjust the outside ring and it makes the 2020 line very sharp. It is highly improbable that you actually have any medical problem. This does not report replace going to somebody medical, which I always do, but it clears the air. If this lens clears the 2020 line for you by self-measurement, 
you'd be pretty sure you don't have a medical problem. You've got an undesired refractive state of, let's say, minus three quarters stopter. Now, this is where I begin wearing a plus lens for all near. Since at 2040, I don't have to wear a minus lens. But the basic element here is the plus lens is a long-term proposition. I've gone through this many times. It's in my book. It's something that's difficult because nobody can prescribe it. You must have the motivation for it. If you think this is short-term effort, you're kidding yourself. And I don't kid people about this. You only kid yourself if you don't do this. And you lose your vision steadily because of all the close work that's required in our society. It's a hard lesson to learn. I don't make major claims, but I do want responsibility for myself. And if I have to take it, I will, because there doesn't seem to be any other way to do it. Uh, enjoy the video. Uh, $20. <laughs> you can't even get a trial lens kit for that. You get pretty good judgment of things, and you're of yourself, really. But that's what all this is about. It's just not medical, and it can't be made into medical. Enjoy the video, and enjoy perhaps getting this and working with it. You'll learn a lot from it.